Hello Scorpio, thank you for tuning into your general read. For the main read, I'm using the Morgan Greer Tarot in my beat up box here by Paul Foster Case and Arthur Edward Waite. I don't know if you can see that. For the supportive cards, the Angel Answers Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. Thankfully I'm saying her name correctly this time. Hallelujah. This seems to be coming in like that. Hmm. All right, let's see how this goes. All right. You have a busy read in the sense. Um, now, let's go with yours. the energy you're bringing into this. You have the Ace of Cups, and in your mindset, you have perfect timing coming in. You also have the mindset of um, the Three of Pentacles, which is continued hard work, continued effort, um, enjoying success but continuing the work at the same time. It's kind of like things paying off but still continuing the effort. That's how I view that card. And you're in a very loving, happy, energetic, overflowing with love position. I also, when I put down this card, the perfect timing is in your thoughts and you're bringing that into reality. You're push, putting that right into reality. As you do that, because I feel like it's your energy that's doing that, like it's completely something you're pulling forward, you feel it's perfect timing. The other side, whoever you're dealing with, whether whatever you think it's perfect timing for, and you're pulling it right in, the other side doesn't seem to be on board with it. They have some interesting things going on here. Uh, first, they have choose a new direction on their side, so they're thinking about other options. Whatever you're considering, they're thinking something else. And then when you bring that into fruition, and you, I feel like you're getting that started, you're taking those steps, they have the hanged man on their side, which makes me feel like you're making the effort, and you're doing what you need to do, and they're just kind of like looking at you and just not saying no. They're not disputing it or negating it, but they might not be helping you either. And they might just be kind of like dumbfounded, like, uh-oh, now what am I going to do? Because I am definitely not going in that direction. And that's what I feel like. I feel like you have energy, you get it going, you go right for it, and you start going. Because you feel like it's time, so you go and you get things started. On the other hand, um, you're not getting the support, and I don't feel like you're seeing that. The other person seems to be a little dumbfounded when you start this. And as you go into this, they just I feel like they're just kind of looking at you as you're going, and you're just like, that's okay, they'll catch up, and you just keep going. But they're just kind of like, uh, what? Delayed reaction. I feel like, I don't know if it's going to be a few hours or a few days, something, but there's a delayed reaction on the other side. And then they come forward that, nope, nope, not on the same page as you. The devil card comes up. I feel like this is conflict between you and whatever the situation is, however that works out. That seems to be the original thought here. And there's a few people involved with this, it seems like. I feel like you're trying to make a change here. But you're getting pushback. And not only from the... It's more than one person you're getting pushback from. And I feel like people don't want things to change. I'm When I get in the Hierophant for this situation... I'm getting like people don't want things to change. You want things to change, they don't want things to change. Um, now, this is weird because what comes in next, the crowning energy, which I'd say crowning energy for this read because it seems to be what kind of lingers with you after this happens. Like the justice, 
you got Justice and you got the Six of Swords. Things seem to be working out. Things seem to be working out fairly. But you're kind of upset about moving on from this. You, I feel like you move on. There's so much pushback. There's so much resistance that you, you do you back off and you move in another direction. But it seems like things still work out fairly. I'm not thinking you had a bad idea, but the environment, like, I feel like there's more than one person that's like, they're like, nope, we're keeping things the same. Nope, nope, nope. And I feel like you're, you're stuck and you can't bust through that. Like it's one of those things where you need, you just thought if you started it, people would get on board and go with it. And it's just like brick wall. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. I'm getting a lot of nope, nope, nope. Uh, which is aggravating. And I feel like this is why the devil card pops in. Because you fight to try to keep it going. You do your best. But there, you just there's a lot of um, opposition to this. And you just can't seem to get past it. That being said... I feel like this goes on for a while. A little while. Because I have the don't stop here. And then I have the emperor... Like, I feel like you, you're, you're trying to kind of push forward a little bit. Something here isn't stopping, and it seems like it should, because it's got don't stop. <laughs> it's got don't stop, but I'm feeling more like, mm, it's like something doesn't, it seems like it's like a runaway train. It just keeps going. Um, I feel like there's kind of like uh, some issues even after, like, the devil card hits, a lot of opposition, and you you kind of move on from it, and you're like, all right, but there's still, like, afterwards, like, people are still giving you crap about it. I feel like that's what the don't stop is saying. Even though it's an oracle card, and it's usually advice, I feel like in this case, it's warning that, you know, people are going to drone on and just beat the horse to death. Beat the dead horse for the love to Pete. Uh, for the love to Pete? Yeah, okay. Um, and I feel like the emperor, like... The situation isn't really, like, damaged, but, like, the opposition and the fact that people are just going on about it, like, somebody, at least one person, at least one, if not more than one, just will not let it lie. And just the fact that you even tried this, they are just giving you crap about it, left and right, and they won't back off. Um, and it goes on for a couple days. It's annoying. Now... I feel like you're trying to, you're trying to act like you're over it. This is in your mental aspect, the world and the moon. I feel like you're putting forth this effort, like, yeah, it's fine. And you're just kind of like letting it roll or making it look like it. You, you might have physical facial <laughs> expressions that show that you're really not impressed or you're like, you're a little annoyed. But you're trying to put forth the effort, like, you know what, I'm getting over it. You're trying to move on from it. That's the, the short answer. You are trying to move on from it, and you're kind of aggravated a little. I feel like you're just kind of mostly wanting it to just move on. You're just like, all right, fine. It's just, it was a no. I get it. I get it. I'm fine. Let's just move on. Let's just move on. I'm still getting this dog in my field, though. Like, somebody's dogging at you. And they, they, they keep saying about, I feel like people are bringing in like history and how good things are and like things don't need to change and they just they keep going on about it especially when i have the emperor for the actual what's happening in the situation i feel like um someone is just kind of going on and on and on um i'm kind of getting like for scorpio the opposite of scorpio is taurus also a good energy but the where where they usually clash is scorpios can be a bit um impulsive and Taurus can be a bit stubborn or regimented, and it's just just very, they, they go in one direction, and that's the way you go. And the two of them sometimes have some discord, especially because they're both leader energies. That being said, I feel like it's kind of like that. Like, the other side isn't, like, wrong in the actual things they're saying, but the fact that they're just going on and on and on and on, and you're just like, can we just let it go already? <laughs> Can we just let it stop? Um, but it's almost like they keep pushing because they don't want you to do this again. So and it, it, I feel like it was kind of an upset for them a little bit that you did that. 
But you're like, it's not that big a deal. You said no, fine, fine. I get it, I get it. I'm backing off from it. And they're just, they, it just seems to go on for days. It doesn't go on for days, but it feels like it. Because you're just like, oh my God, can you just drop it? Really? Um, that being said, it kind of creates a problem between you and at least one person, if not more than one. The problem it creates, though, is that communication seems to lock up. Swords are communication. Swords, swords are air. With this situation, I'm feeling like communication kind of locks up, and it's just kind of like there might be communication, but nothing of, like, you don't want to start any in-depth conversation. You don't want to talk about anything too long because you just don't want to hear it again. You're just kind of over it. And you're putting forth, like, your gestures are showing that, so the other side is backing off too. And they're, they're, they they realize that you're annoyed with them because they wouldn't drop it. So they're backing off too. So I feel like it, there is some communication, but nothing, like, not too long, like, quick, short communication, and that's it. Like, let's move on. And I feel like you're kind of taking this energy a little farther past this time period. You might take this out for a week or two, a week or two, a week or two, where you just, you don't want to, like, between you and whoever the disagreement is with, the one or two people, however many, it's kind of like holding back. And like, if you, if you don't live with them, you're like staying away from them. If you do live with them, it's just very, you don't want to talk that much, just little short conversations. And then you move on or you go do something somewhere else. You're, you seem to be avoiding each other. Um, I feel like when this period starts, like it doesn't have to last that long. I feel like it's going to be a, sh it's going to happen one way or another, but the, it's up to you card is in your side, which means it can last as long or as short as you decide. Cause I feel like it's moved on at this point. Like if you decide to have that, to feel it, if, when you feel that way, if you decide a day is long enough, then a day is long enough. If you feel after two days, you're just like, I, I kind of want to talk, but I'm, you start, you're like, I want to talk, but like, what if that stupid conversation starts yet again? Like after it's been like, a, I don't know, it could be even just a few hours, but there's been kind of like that, just let's avoid each other. I feel like you could pull it out and return communication to normal. It's just up to you how long it lasts. Like it, you're going to know when you get to that point where you're, you want to talk to the other person but you're worried that conversation is going to start again. It's that, but if there's been a little bit, at least a few hours, where you've, you've had this uncomfortable period, if that makes sense. When that moment hits, though, that's when you can open that door again and you're fine. They're saying it's fine because I don't really see anything happening on the other side. So for the majority of you, anyway, it should be fine. Um, but they're saying as long as, if you want it to last a few hours, a few days, or a few weeks, it's pretty much in your court because it seems like the other side is waiting for you to say it's okay to talk again, because it seems like they're aware that they pushed your button, and if they don't watch it and they start it again, they seem to be aware that you're just going to snap and just tell them exactly where it, where it is and how it's going to get there. So they seem to be aware that they've pushed it a little too far and they're backing off, especially when you pull away and you stop communication, even if it's just for a few hours, they're saying you, you can reopen the door and just start communication however you want to, and it can move on. It's just up to you if it's going to be a few hours or a few weeks. Up to you. Okay. I think we're good with that then. All right. I'm going to wrap that up there. Of course, if you'd like a reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com, james4astral at gmail.com. Thank you.